Hello diamonds and welcome back to Echo Bee Season 5. I have managed to change a little bit about my store. So now this out of roof area. I have new sign at the entrance. And as last time Mas had a lot of issues with with his truck and ended up in the water. I made quite big fence so no longer can anyone uh, end up in the water area. So hopefully it's enough. And yeah, I did make second part of the gate. So now I have four of my skills nicely visible. And if we go inside, I have a little bit more fence in this area. And then back here, because I'm not expecting anyone to come here, I just have the original uh, like what to say a ramp so like I take this track and if I'm backing up and I should well, pretty much feel when I go against yeah I can feel that I'm against so not driving off but yeah with the big trailer truck I think it's kind of difficult to notice this type of elements on the land so I kind of understand why he drove off and all, always when I have to do some backing uh, work then I go into the third person view so it will be easier then what else did I do I did move the stuff inside around a little bit so I moved this one closer to the wall and I put my trusty bridge just behind here so you can easily come and nibble on some goodies whenever I have time what is good food at the moment I mean this is the only one that gives me something decent but yeah my food is definitely out of balance now and I have to see if I can find any good food to eat so cheap foods raise that it's it's over there so we need to go up for that and i was thinking that uh, i want to take a look uh, on some of the other builds that are kind of off the normal route so i want to take a look on this harbor area so it's one of the big projects that i don't really know much about and i think it might be nice there's also one mine that uh, checkmate and uh, I have my own skid there as well, so it's for limestone mining. And yeah, it's just just to see what is around, so so we can probably get moving. I mean, I will take uh, this truck, so if I end up doing some limestone mining, then I can easily bring back as much stuff as possible. And yeah, the line is slowly getting done as well. Not too much uh, change in the past few days when watching the uh, map view, but I'm quite sure that inside there is a lot happening. Because yeah, I'm not always online. Like yesterday, I might have been online official like for five hours, but it was pretty much AFK most of the time. So, and Leo has now finally fully finished the. Uh, uh, statue as well so if you have any time then we can look the final products because last time it was not finished yet so so I'm not sure if we got the full feel of it and it still had the scaffolding and everything up so here the road probably needs a little bit more work yeah here's also the cheap food what we want so let's see what else we can get from here there's a lot of food so I'll take a few of those a little bit bacon so I still haven't found some of the foods I guess and I'm not sure what is the food that I haven't tried Hmm. 
Ooh. It's kind of difficult to always go through and figure out what is missing. This is delicious, but a lot of carbs not the best for our consumption. Ooh. This might be very, very interesting. Maybe that's the favorite food of ours. Have to see. That's a good. Muffins are good. In real life, I think that donuts would be very good, but yeah, the character doesn't seem to like good stuff. Yeah, some seasons is good. Uh, food is matching, but other seasons not so much. Hmm. It roast. It's mainly protein, so we should take few. Baked meat, also. But yeah, then I just have to do more work to use it all up. Try it. All of that, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's take those few items. And then let's go and see the mine that uh, we have over here. So it has slightly hidden entrance as we are already here. Well, quickly that's... I can't. I'm too full. And yeah, the glitch for two bowls after driving is still here. It's a little bit annoying. But yeah, let's quickly hop in. So as you can see, there's a lot of mining that has happened. Uh, I did leave my skid in here with uh, full permission, so anyone can use it. So with authorization, anyone who's established can just come in and use it as much as they want. Leaving a lot of opportunities in case they don't have their own skids, but they do have the rights to mine here. If they don't have rights, then, well, nothing I can do. <laughs> because I'm not the owner of this place. This, yeah, Jerk is the, the person in charge. So, if he thinks that someone should be added to the claim, he can do that. But yeah, in this corner I think we are getting to the sandstone fully. So not much to take out. But yeah, I will not mind too much. Just a tiny bit. I guess. So yeah, I will quickly finish off the mining and then I will see you at the next shop. Or not in the place that we wanted to take a look at. Here we are. This is the harbor building. I'm not sure what it's supposed to look like. I do know that there's a lot hidden inside. And there's the lift that is in the middle of the road. But let's take more look. Uh, yeah, it's quite big building. And yes, uh, I, I did get this one admin right from Mus, thanks to Presix being persistent. So I can take better look for all the buildings that are around, especially the taller ones. Because otherwise it's just me jumping around, falling off and all that, which I think no one really wants to watch because <laughs> I'm super clumsy. But yeah, it's unique building. So it looks like really big, like windows and stuff. And there's also a ladder going up. And inside there is like, some type of seating area. I like this type of table construction. And there should be like store and whatnot. Yeah, kind of nice. I like it. And the other sides will be pretty much the same, but less done so far. So yeah, I haven't really followed on Discord either, like if there's any specific things with this project. But yeah. So I think Papa Zingo is uh, in charge for that. 
but unfortunately he has left the lift here so so like visiting the other shops that are behind it's kind of impossible so yeah i remember yesterday i came to buy another skits there for my main base because i moved the one to the mine and yeah then i came here and and i pretty much had to walk through all this building to to get back here so so let's quickly go and take a look there as well so i will see you at the shop so here we are next to this store and the full industrial complex so i did switch the fly mode off because i still feel that it's kind of cheating when moving around so i only want to use it whenever i record like bigger buildings that's it with other places i will leave it off because that was the initial agreement i made with presix as well when in the last season when he was kind of mentioning that maybe we can do something like that but yeah it's it's kind of nice small build so a lot of um, mining and smelting related stuff around and yeah easy shop not much available at the moment unfortunately don't buy anything just selling and yeah so crushed slag available i haven't made it for a while and yeah then skid stairs and trucks if anyone needs because yeah, it's getting really quiet in in the recent few days so i understood that also echo life uh, where i used to play before uh, sprang back to life so i've seen quite few faces over there so we'll see the few who uh, still decide to play here it's kind of nice to see and yeah i'm not going myself there at the moment as i don't really have much time so i will focus or on everything that we have here and also on personal life but yeah so what is the next good place to visit because we've been there to the um dump uh, or junkyard we've been next to the power plant and also the main presixes uh, area where he makes everything but I'm quite sure there are a few tiny roads that we haven't really seen. So let me see if I can find out where some of them were. Oh yeah, one was in this neighborhood I was a bit interested in. Because there seems to be like farming related stuff in this area. And then some very strange place in the water. So let's... Let's try to drive there and see what is hidden in that location. So we'll see you once I get there. Just when I was driving past the H bubbles uh, place, I saw this building. It looks kind of nice. So I was thinking that I will take a quick look. I think I've been here before just to get some food items, but I haven't really been in here. So. I think it's kind of fun to see around what it looks like. So it has really big kitchen. And yeah, it looks very professional, even though like it's very difficult to cook in this corner. And I mean, it's not really much easier on this one either, but yeah, two different lamps, a lot of decorations. And yeah, also some living spaces. more cooking so it has quite quite a lot of kitchen space as i can see so it seems like different tiers of kitchen stuff is in different rooms which of course is good thing to have let's see where we can go so this is the upper floor it has the bedrooms one interesting window just in the middle of the 
space. Really packed bathrooms, just to get more XP, I guess. Another bathroom, really packed. And this is another bedroom. And then up there seems to be some more uh, manufacturing stuff. Not sure if... It... Yes, we can go here. But yeah, all the loom stuff. So that's where this person can make all the necessary tailoring stuff. But yeah, just quick look on this. So I will now continue to travel all the way to the initial destination. I have arrived to this farming complex. So now I can see what all those big posts were for. So it's just to make sure that uh, there is enough mechanical power to, to fulfill the needs of uh, the pumps. And there is the unique building. So I'm not sure if it even has like any other access. It doesn't look like. Of course, there might be like some ladder on the other side, so we can take a look. But yeah, it's like really big farming complex. There's a lot of stuff hidden inside. So pretty much anything you might need. Unfortunately, the door is closed, so I'm not going... Ah, side door, uh, side door is open. Not too bad. So we can quickly take a look. So yeah, there's a little bit cotton. And it seems that some plants are dying, so possibly there's a little bit pollution in the neighborhoods. Because I know that some plants are a bit more resilient to the pollution, like I think corn and those are a bit stronger. But yeah, like so many plants are just gone. So yeah, but otherwise it's quite well made. So sprinklers are in place, all the lights. So it seems to be working exactly as it needs to. Yeah, all good. And yeah, then there's a lot of storage around. Or screen track. So, so Chilo is the master of this place. And the back place seems to be then Ostiboyan. So if I'm correct, this person is Finnish. Because, well... The uh, name is, well, Finnish. So yeah, they're doing a lot of mining. And I think smelting as well, because I, I bought some of the bars and stuff from him. But let's see closer this place here. Because it looks kind of unique. So yeah, I don't really see any entrance place here, but we can still go down there and look through all the glass, what is hidden. And I think that the entrance actually goes under the ground. This is quite fancy. So yeah, it reminds me like Futurama, where, um, where the fry was looking for uh, a place to live and then they tried different places and went to see one of the under the ocean place but of course it does look a lot better than the Futurama one because that one was really sketchy yeah it's quite well built the staircases and everything it's really modern style and there's also a frame so I think in the next version uh, uh, of the Echo, which will be the version 10, uh, we can start using all the picture frames and stuff, which would be really, really nice. But yeah, it's it's nice sign inside. You made it to get up called the elevator. Hmm. And it feels like there's a challenge to get inside. So now I'm really curious on how to do so and of course without any cheats that's the main goal so i'm not sure i can go through this building 
but there's also possibility that there is something around that has the entrance. So let's see quickly if we can find it, and if not, then well, we'll leave it. This one truck nicely parked there, but no entrance behind it. But there's an entrance right here that goes inside or under the farm. But the door here seems to be closed, so definitely cannot go anywhere. Hmm. Ah, so there is the sign as well. Of course, the welcome is a bit incorrect because too many L's. But yeah, Green Reaper Maze, don't get lost. Challenge accepted. <laughs> so. So this should be just a maze where you go in and you have a lot of doors. Everything going everywhere. Of course, yeah. So let's see. I mean, it's probably much easier because, well, all the doors are closed. But yeah. Let's see directly if we go straight, if we find anything. Because ideally, we should not be able to. I think we have to go around, because all those doors are closed. So of course, Chilo can go himself directly. But we have to find a way. What about this? Wow. It's just too too much maze. So no wonder why the sign is there. But it's definitely fun to look around and find dead ends. And then get stuck on the corners. So I hope that the video is not too choppy because of all that. Huh. There was nothing there going back so we'll use one of the common tactics for uh, mazes which is only go one way so in general it should work but it will take a while i'm quite sure so we're pretty much back at the beginning this place is dead end more dead ends Let's see. In the red section. Blue section. That ends. Yeah, it probably took quite a while to build this type of maze. Another corner. Another dead end. So what's inside here? Another dead end. <laughs> we will find all the dead ends, it seems. Yeah, this is also dead end. So pretty much the longest way around should be the correct one. So, do we go this way? Nope. Other way here. Through the blue section. Does look a bit like a trap to me. So I'm not sure if it's the correct place because I don't want to get lost. I will quickly check the other route. But I have a feeling that it might be that one. So it probably is that one over there. Yeah. It might be that one that goes down. Yeah, I think we came that way, yeah. So, yeah, I'm slowly getting lost, like you. So, <laughs> so I will quickly hop down and let's see where it takes us. So, we are now in 
in different stage of of the maze. So it seems to be the one that leads us to the right place. And here we are. So this is the place from inside. It's really, really cool. I mean, I will already call it down because we definitely need it. And yeah, all the sofas and a clever ways to put all the blocks everywhere. So yeah, as a house, it's definitely one of the best ones. Plus, it's under the lake. So you can see around all the fish and stuff. Yeah, definitely a good place to visit. I'm quite happy that Chilu has made this accessible for others. And yeah, if I decided to do my regular video, I wouldn't have even found it. Yeah, fantastic creation. So hopefully it gives us some ideas for next season as well. Even though I was planning the next season to be maybe a chef again. Just haven't done cooking for a while. Yeah. So that was really nice place to see. So I think that's pretty much it for this episode. In the next one, maybe we can look more. Some other hidden gems around the map. Like if I find uh, off the recording time, then I will just make a note. Otherwise, we can just discover all together like this time. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.